morning, everyone. Test me, O God, and know my thoughts. See that I path is now wicked, and lead me in the way everlasting. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us prepare hearts to celebrate the sacred mysteries of the Eucharist by calling to mind our faults and seeking God's love, mercy, and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to all those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And let us gather all of our prayers together into one. O God, who delight in innocence and restore it, direct the hearts of your servants to yourself, that caught up in the fire of your spirit, we may be found steadfast in faith and effective in works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, cursed is the man who trusts in human beings, who seeks his strength in flesh, whose heart turns away from the Lord. He is like a barren bush in the desert that enjoys no change of season, but stands in a lava waste, a salt and empty earth. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose hope is in the Lord. He is like a tree, planted beside the waters that stretches out its roots to the streams. It fears not the heat when it comes, and its leaves stay green. In the year of drought, it shows no distress, but still bears fruit. More tremulous than all else is the human heart beyond remedy. Who can understand it? I, the Lord, alone probe the mind and test the heart to reward everyone according to his ways, according to the merit of his deeds. The word of the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory Glory to you, you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the Pharisees, There was a rich man who dressed in purple garments and fine linen and dined sumptuously each day. And lying at his door was a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who would greatly have eaten his fill of the scraps 
that fell from the rich man's table. Dogs even used to come and lick his sores. When the poor man died, he was carried away by the angels to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried. And from the netherworld, where he was in torment, he raised his eyes and saw Abraham far off in Lazarus at his side. As he cried out, Father Abraham, have pity on me. Send Lazarus to dip, in, dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am suffering torment in these flames. Abraham replied, My child, remember that you received what was good during your lifetime, while Lazarus likewise received what was bad. But now he is conformed here, whereas you are tormented. He is comforted here, where, where you are as tormented. Moreover, between us and you is a great chasm, is established to prevent anyone from crossing who might wish to go from our side to theirs, or from your side to ours. He said, Then I beg you, Father, send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them, lest they do too come to this place of torment. But Abraham replied, they have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. He said, Oh no, Father Abraham, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. Then Abraham said, If they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded if someone should rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. In the 16th chapter of Luke, the readings this morning are pretty harsh because the readings are trying to make a contrast between people who hope in this world versus people who hope in God. And this is the very case for the rich man and Lazarus. The rich man had great hope in the things of this world, possessions, food, health, shelter, and all those other things. Where the rich, or where Lather, Lazarus, he had great hope in Abraham. And so at the time when both of them de were dead or had died, the one who was happiness in this world was left to perish in the torments of hell. Rather, Lazarus, who suffered throughout his life. And we even hear the sad story that the dogs came and even licked his sores, knowing that no one else was taking care of him, except his sores were so severe that the dogs came and licked them. And so it's Lazarus who was in heaven with God, who reaped the rewards of the eternal banquet. We hear so many times as we go throughout the readings of Lent that we must care for others. And that's not just caring by putting money in the basket or donating here or there, but it's caring for our neighbors with a heart of love, a heart of compassion, a heart of mercy. So that we can look at all of our brothers and sisters, our neighbors here and afar, and not judge them, but be reminded that they were created in the image and the likeness of God. Not everyone acts in this world in the image of the likeness of God, and therefore we are separated by God. During this time of the pandemic, I am reminded of all of those who are separated from those who they need most, people in their community, their families, their friends to receive the loving grace. Today's mass, coincidentally, is for my Aunt Dolores, who has recently passed. And in her elder years, she, in my prayer, she was the personification of this message, that she did not dwell on the things of this world, but through her suffering, she was closer to God, 
realizing Jesus Christ who suffered for all of us, that when we suffer, Jesus Christ suffers with us. And so at the time when the Heavenly Father called her home from leaving this world, journeying to eternal life, it was some of her happiest moments because she truly experienced what it means that God's love is saving. My brothers and sisters, as we go throughout these days, during this second week of Lent, we are reminded that Lent is a time for all of us to see our neighbors in our world with new eyes, eyes of love and generosity, but also to look for ourselves. Because when we come to the judgment table, God will judge us on our actions here on earth rather than our love and willingness to accept him when he judges us in heaven. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Today it is very clear that trusting in the things of this world bring death but trusting in God will truly bring salvation. So with confidence in our Lord's generosity, let us bring our petitions to him. We ask that the Lord may look graciously upon all members of the church, especially those who are persecuted for their faith and for standing up for their faith. As we proclaim the good news throughout our Lenten journey, we pray to the Lord. We pray that the gospel message of peace and blessing may direct the actions of our governor, our president, and all world leaders, especially to those who are most vulnerable in societies. We pray to the Lord. For our brothers and sisters in our community and in our country that are homeless and destitute, may they find relief through God's provision and Christian generosity. We pray to the Lord that members of this faith community may continue to be strengthened and transformed by the grace which comes from the sacraments, we pray to the Lord. That the faithful departed may rest forever in the loving arms of God. And we pray especially for this Mass for the repose of the soul of Dolores Malacqua and for those who may die today with no one to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. We pray for our brothers and sisters who are sick and suffering, for those who have asked us to pray for them, and for those special attentions which we bring to the altar during this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Amen. Almighty Father, giver of every perfect gift, grant us these prayers we ask to your Son, Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Lord, God. I have miss you this water and wine, and may be a spring of divinity of Christ, who humbled himself as you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord, once we find the good thing, cleanse me from my many sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. By this present sacrifice, we pray, O Lord, sanctify our observance, that what Latin discipline outwardly declares, it may inwardly bring about through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from the disordered affections, they may deal with the things of this passing world, and so hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Casimir, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ can receive for eternity. Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Through the intercession of St. Michael the Archangel, let us pray for peace in our hearts, peace in our families, and let us pray for the protection of all those on this Thursday who will go and pray in front of the abortion clinics. 
St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Our Lady, Queen of Peace. Just a reminder, tomorrow is First Friday, so Mass will be at 745. Let us pray. May this sacrifice, O God, remain active in its effects and work ever more strongly within us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Abide with your servants, O Lord, this very day, who implore the help of your grace, that they may receive from you the support and guidance of your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Amen. Have a beautiful day, everyone.